Hello YouTube. Well, welcome back and we started playing with some track. I have my daughter Morgan up here helping me and the old track plan that we had with the scenic and relax plan wasn't going to work. It wasn't doing what we wanted it to with the setting the inclines to that plan maybe would have worked but to add the second railroad line in that goes around the back of the shelf was going to be harder. So what I did was I went back to some track planning books and this is a railroad plan that I really always loved. It's a book by Ian Rice, and maybe I'm saying that wrong. It might be Ian. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a neat book, and the, the plan here on the cover is actually the one out of all of them that I like the best. It's one of the more simple plans. It has a small farming community, and what they probably intended to be a small yard over here on this side. It, my version of this so far doesn't really have much of a yard over there, a couple industries to switch probably, but... I'll show you what, what we've done. You can see the plan there, how it curves around, and it goes through that crossing right there. Well, for what we're doing, so this inside curve here curves around, and as it gets through that crossing, it keeps on going. And right there, if it takes that turn out, it can go back to the other line the one that's going through here, through the other part of the crossing. So there's, imagine two circles of track, basically. Let's simplify things. Two circles of track that can cross each other right there, or with this pair of turnouts can cross back and forth. My daughter Morgan down there, hello, say hello Morgan. Hi. She's been helping me push cars through there. We were pushing a, a tall passenger car through this bridge on the bottom and the top just to make sure they cleared, and they do clear, I, I don't want a lot of room there. That's the tallest car we'll ever run on here. And I guess when you look at it, it's not much taller than any other box car. But So, they both clear, and we were playing with that configuration down there, and they both go through there. They'll switch back and forth from either loop. So, Morgan, if you want to give that a push, we'll let them roll down through there. And we must be doing something right with these Woodland Scenics inclines, because when it gets down there and it levels out, it stops. It's never made it much past the crossing. So everything must be fairly level. Tomorrow, when we get back to working on it again, we'll put some track together over where the town would be. And I think that when it's all said and done, this other track here that loops around the outer loop will be more of a larger city on the other side of a backdrop or a hillside. Just some bigger industries, a packing plant, some things, just so the stuff in the smaller farm community has somewhere to end up. And I like this idea quite a bit. I think all the grade this thing is going to have, at least for now, is just up over that bridge and back down into the small town again. Just to break things up a little bit, and then you'll have the other backdrop. I think it'll be neat. You'll get to see trains crossing over each other. We'll be able to run two trains at a time in opposite directions, I think. I'll have to do some more studying to get to the wiring aspect of things. If anybody has any comments about this setup here that we have, anybody that's used the Kato track before, is everything going to be isolated to where you don't have to worry about any shorts with these two tracks that can switch back and forth to each other? Um, I have watch Mike Pfeiffer's video on isolating the turnouts and when we're done every turnout will be isolated with the black insulator pieces like this one here that have no metal in them so the end of every turnout will have insulators there and there and there and there and every track from this side of the turnout back will have its own power feed and new power feeds for tracks on the opposite sides so I think that if I wire everything like that for DCC on a bus line, that I shouldn't have any short problems. The only thing I see that could ever be a problem is if I wire in a turntable, but I'm sure if I follow some directions from some guys online for that, that shouldn't be a problem either. So thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll try to get another video back out tomorrow when we get some more track put in here. Thanks.